evening from Koh Samui. We've just arrived here today from Khao Sok. It was a little bit of a long travel day again, but we finally made it. What you can hear in the background is actually, I believe, a wedding. I think she's just done a bouquet tour, so I missed it. So we're gonna go over and have a little peep at the Thai wedding over here. Are you breathing? Sammy Tom yeah. beans. Okay. We've actually also just picked up ourselves a couple of pizzas and we're going to have a little um, pizza picnic on the beach for sunset. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bridesmaids. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bridesmaids. Wow. Everyone, please, everyone. Group picture, group picture, please. So we're currently just walking down Lamai Beach, which is the closest beach to where we are actually staying at the moment in Koh Samui. Everywhere we go, Callum is always stopping with the dog. Tomorrow we are going to go and have a proper like adventure day. There is a good few things here that we want to do in Koh Samui, so make sure to keep on watching if you want to see that. But welcome to Koh Samui, looking forward to a few days here. What I've noticed whilst editing these vlogs is how much we eat. Every vlog that I've been really? editing lately is like us eating, doing taste tests and trying things. So uh, welcome to another taste test. We were gonna go and get some pizzas from an actual restaurant, but as we were driving to the restaurant, we actually found like a little sort of like food market. Like a stall. food, yeah, like a food market. Yeah, yeah, food market store. Yeah. yeah, and it was uh, called the Pizza Box and it was selling pizzas. I'm really glad that we went there because this looks bloody delicious. This is a vibe right now with the palm tree in the back, Cool vibes, picnic on the beach, stunning. I got it, let's get it, and ready to run through 10. Good? Mm. Oh, is it good? Oh, that was a that was a good like mm. it's seasoned very well. Cheers. Toast. But yeah, that is good. Good tomato base, good cheese. Mm. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Thumbs up from us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're sat on a beach with food. This is what happens. Hello. And this cheeky one behind me here. Run, run, run. <laughs> Dance if you're stupid. <laughs> so we've just driven about 20, 25 minutes to come to Chaweng, which I think is the most central sort of part of Koh Samui. There is actually a huge shopping mall here called Central Samui, which I'm actually really interested in going into because I need a new swimsuit. You would think you can get a swimsuit on the markets. You can get bikinis, loads of bikinis, but no swimsuits barely. So I'm actually going to buy a swimsuit in H&M instead. There's actually also a huge market outside of the shopping center as well. So we're going to have a little look in the mall and then around the market as well so sounds like an ideal evening to me so Callum's just found this shirt in the market it's like a sheer white shirt quite a smart shirt yeah it's really nice Callum actually just got this for 200 baht they started at 280 and came down to 200 you can probably get it cheaper I think he felt a bit bad because it was an older woman but it's a nice shirt so I went into H&M found a swimsuit that I absolutely loved but they only had it in one size it was the last one left in the shop and it was just a tad too small for me so now I'm just having a look in the market and surprisingly I've actually found a market stall that has got quite a few swimsuits in it. It is funny though because a lot of these swimsuits are from Zaful and Shein and if you've ever shopped in either of those two shops you would know the price of the bikinis from Zaful and Shein so if they try and charge me any more than I would pay on there I'm not going to be having it. <laughs> the difficult thing with market stalls is that you obviously can't try things on on the markets whereas in the shops you can so it's kind of a Hail Mary if I buy one here. We'll see. we're gonna get a lychee smoothie. We've seen all of these flavors, but we very, very rarely see lychee and I really wanna try it, so. Uh, could I have one uh, lychee smoothie, please? That's gonna taste good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on then, do the honors. It's kind of a slushy more than a smoothie. It smells so good. Lychee has got such a distinct smell and it is so good. Let's get it, let's try it. Let's rate one for 10. Oh. Is it good? That is perfect. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Wow. The next day. 
Good morning, it's another morning here in Koh Samui in Thailand. We're gonna go and grab some breakfast now and then head on with our day. We've just arrived at the entrance point to the overlap stone. There's actually two options which I didn't realise but thanks to TikTok I found that there is a free option. So the first one as you drive up it says parking with a sign and I think it's 200 baht per person but if you carry on driving up the road and park further up the top and then you walk it I think you can get in for free or at least it might be about 20 baht but that's so much better than 200 baht per person. We just had breakfast at a nice little French cafe which was literally one minute away from where we're staying in Lamai. We both treated ourselves to a nice Western sandwich for breakfast. Breakfast this morning was pretty expensive. We paid 500 baht for our breakfast, which is definitely more of a expensive breakfast for us, but we're gonna have a cheap day otherwise, hopefully. What is that noise? I don't know. 500 baht is like 11 pound 50 so 11 pound 50 for two huge baguettes and a smoothie and a nice coffee that was delicious that's actually really good still but for us yeah it's just a little bit more expensive anyways we're now going to disembark on our journey up to the overlap stone i think it's supposed to be quite an uphill trek we've got no water gonna have to take this one slowly otherwise i'm gonna be burnt out this is actually overlap stone two that we've walked up to the original one is much bigger it's probably double the size of it and it's probably a little bit more impressive but it's also a lot 200 bar and it's a lot busier and from what I saw on TikTok you have to queue up to take a photo because obviously there's too many people at one time there otherwise. I go a lot of places barefoot, just jumping and hopping around. Because well, they just... would have seen in the Krabby vlog, you did that whole scramble in barefoot. Oh yeah, well. but I always, always end up stubbing my toe, and mm. this has literally just happened, and there's blood on the rock. But it's just rank. I mean, my toes are rank anyway. But I just stepped over here, and I just clipped it. <laughs> I love the sound effect. <laughs> Your random unemployed friends on a Tuesday afternoon. Yep. It's just, just a, a stupid, stupid boulder. boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> So for context, the lady who was running the customers from the last place, she just invited us into her home to look at the other overlap stone because it's a really good viewpoint. So that's currently where we are now. And this is her lovely home. So this is the view from their absolutely gorgeous home. And this is the overlap rock up here that is the original overlap stone they were just saying it used to be 10 baht then 20 baht then 30 baht and then it went to 50 and now the new owners start charging 200 baht per person for entry which is just ridiculous but the lovely owners of this home here they've let us come and look at it for free <laughs> imagine waking up to this view every day just beautiful just noticed as well I don't even know if we spoke about these in um, our vlog in Battambang in Cambodia. These, this tree produces these pods and they have like this fluff inside and it's used in different toys and sometimes pillows as well, I think. A little fun fact of the day. This one's taking the shade under my um, shadow. Hey, yo. Look, he's using my shadow. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> Our plan now is to head over to, I can't remember the name, some yeah, waterfall, though. cool down there, then go and have some lunch somewhere. I'm sweating. <laughs> so we have left the house of the people that we were just at. That was really, really kind of them to let us into their home. Obviously, I wouldn't just expect anyone to invite strangers into their home. We just sat and had a little chat with them for ages. The husband actually also gave us a big map of Koh Samui and he pointed out some really amazing spots for us. And we've just driven to the Nahmuang waterfall. There's actually two here. We've actually come to number two. I don't really know what the difference is, honestly. They're both just waterfalls. Unfortunately, it is a uh, low season at the moment with water. So this is what we're dealing with. In all seriousness, I mean, it really doesn't look like the most appealing thing at all. I mean, can you see the water down there? <laughs> I think normally in high season, this is 50 baht to get into, but uh, we just sort of strolled right in. They didn't charge us. There's not really anything worth charging for at the moment or whether there was no one on the door, I'm not sure. A little bit disappointing, but hey ho. 
we've just rocked up at a temple funny enough we haven't really been to any temples since we were in like bangkok to be honest there's just something different about thai temples there's temples all over asia in all of the countries but none of them are as impressive as the ones in thailand and that is a fact the one that we've actually come to see is called wat nam lai i think i'll put the name on screen anyway but it's a really beautiful amazing temple with a big sort of female buddha with loads of arms you'll see it in a second anyway but there's actually a collection of quite a few temples here where we pulled up to so we're gonna just basically have a vague little look around all of them and uh, have a little wander around before we stop for lunch the statue of the Chinese Laughing Buddha and the 18 armed Gua Yin, the Chinese goddess of mercy, are two of the main attractions at Wat Plai Lim Temple. Tourists often come to appreciate the bold, colourful beauty and intricate designs of the architecture here. The goddess of mercy is rumoured to help women with fertility of healthy children and also protects sailors at sea, whilst the large Laughing Buddha, also known as the Buddhai Buddha, is known for bringing prosperity and careless joy. In between the two stands the temple itself, accompanied by colourful snakes upon entrance and an abundance of intricate beauty that surrounds it. Something about the temples here just fills my heart with a little bit of happiness. Honestly, the attention to detail, like every single corner, every angle of these temples is thought about when they're building them and when they're designing them and painting them. No part of it is ever missed. The backs of the temple, the steps of the temple, the underneath, the bits that you wouldn't even think you can see, just every part of it is thought about. And I think they are just so beautiful. Fish Callum's just fascinated by these fish, which are just outside the temple, which you can pay to feed as well. They're actually pretty big. He's dropping his mouth about. And look. Look, look. So funny. Good morning. Today we are on a boat trip to Antong National Park in Koh Samui. We weren't really sure if we were gonna do this. We got told about this by the guy that we spoke to yesterday, the overlap stone. And then last night we suddenly decided at like 11 p.m. that we were gonna do it. So we went to a booking agent and we booked on. She actually gave us a really good price, didn't she? Really I, good price. I think initially it was supposed to be 1,500 baht per person and then 300 baht for the entrance fee for the national park. But we got it for... He gave it to us for a thousand baht, including the entrance fee. So essentially we got the boat trip for 700 baht, which is pretty crazy. It's a full day boat trip. And when I say full day, we got picked up at 7 a.m. this morning. And I don't think we're planning on being back until about half four, half five this evening. The actual boat trip from Koh Samui to get to Antong has been about an hour and a half to nearly two hours so far already. Can here and then right up to the viewpoint and right down to the middle here and then right down to the lagoon and return up here and then take this way back let's go my god some of these are literal vertical ladders so we are here yeah and then by my judging is look if you look here yeah africa's there so that must be that's Africa, that yeah. one? Oh, shit. And that means this big one here is Australia. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah we are pretty close to it, aren't we? Look. That's it's just, crazy. just literally just there. That's probably a sensible approach. Maybe I should put this in reverse. Yes, 
So we now have a couple of hours to spend on the actual Antong National Park, which is very, very beautiful. It actually gives um, Philippines vibes a little bit. There is a couple of options of things that you can do here. There is a viewpoint hike, which I think is about 30 minutes up, 30 minutes down. It's quite an intense sort of hike. They did recommend us to wear trainers and we don't have trainers with us right now. There is also a hike to the cave, which is a stalagmite and stalactite cave. Callum was contemplating doing it, but he's just basically decided that He's gonna stay here and just chill on the beach instead. As you guys might know by now, I'm not much of a walker. That really doesn't entice me, to be honest. So I was just gonna sit and chill on the beach. I just had a little go at snorkeling. Unfortunately, they have got like a closed off area for snorkeling, which means that you can't really go into the deeper parts where there's actually more interesting stuff. Also, the water was super sandy and you kind of can't see anything unless it's coming right past your eyes. So it was a little bit disappointing for snorkeling in comparison to some other places where we've done that. The national park though looks absolutely stunning. Palm trees, there everywhere a lot of greenery it's very beautiful but we've got two hours to spare here and then we are heading back towards Koh Samui After the boat trip, we actually went to get some dinner. So I got a pizza and Callum got some barbecue pork ribs. We actually went back to the market that we went to on the first night where we got the pizzas that we ate on the beach. And then I was adamant I was not gonna leave Koh Samui without seeing a fire show because that's one thing that Koh Samui is really popular for. One of the most popular places to watch the fire shows is a place called Coco Tams along the seafront. But on this night, we went a little bit too late and the fire show had ended. So we went to a place called Ark Bar, which is a huge, massive beach club. And it was actually really good vibes there. They also have amazing fire shows going on every half an hour there from 8 o'clock till midnight. So we were in luck and we managed to watch a fire show and it was just brilliant. <laughs> that is a wraps on our Koh Samui vlog. I actually really, really enjoyed Koh Samui. I think it was probably one of my favorite islands we've been to so far in Thailand. It is an island that's just full of activities. There's so much to do. There's different parts of the island. There's obviously the main strip, but then there's the quieter parts and the beaches are beautiful. I just really enjoyed the vibe there. If you have made it to the end of this video, then thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. And if you did, then please make sure to leave a big thumbs up, a comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel if you don't already. As I am filming this, it is actually the night of the full moon party here in Koh Panyang. So if you do wanna look out for the full moon party vlog, then keep an eye on my page in the next few weeks. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll keep this short and sweet, but hope to see you in the next one. Bye.